Good morning. Today is Wednesday, August 7th. And the first chart that we're looking at today is Apple Computer. A-A-P-L. And as you recall on yesterday's video, there were three levels of resistance that I was calling for, okay? The first level started at that 465, 465.75, and it went up to basically 470, 470, okay? Again, based on this high right in here that I'm circling, right, this lower white horizontal line, this high is, in my eyes, eh, quite significant, and then this one, all right? And then, of course, the deep purple line here is the 200 exponential moving average. So that's basically where I came up with the resistance. And yesterday we topped out at 471, went a little higher, obviously, 471.89 and closed at 465 and a quarter. And the market's going to open up about 464. All right, 464. All right, so this is definitely definite resistance. If we get a closing price above yesterday's high, 471.89, 472, then I think we'll start you know break start breaking that 200 exponential moving average. But either way, even if we're not able to break through that level, I'm still looking to be a buyer, roughly 20 to 25 points lower than where we're at right now. I'm looking at a first level. Let's stick my foot in the water. At about 445 right down here 445 is where I'm looking to take a position I think this market's move gonna move higher and I want to be on board I'm at least gonna get my foot in the water and, and get something down in here now you might be asking well that's not even at that mid band yet don't you typically buy it between the mid to the lower when you think the market's gonna bounce at resist support rather and and the answer is yes but by the time the market's able to get down to this level, I can guarantee you these Kiltners will be higher and will be sitting between the mid to lower. And of course, we've got the hot pink line, which is, as you already know, the 50 exponential moving average. So again, first level, about 445 in Apple Computer right here. This is where I'm looking to take a position. Back to TBT, the ETF TBT, Ultra Short Lehman 20-Year Treasury Bond. As you recall, I put on a trade last Friday that expires this Friday, August 9th. Uh, I sold puts. I sold puts at uh, a price, if I were to get put the ETF, it's $74.50 right here. Okay? 74 and a half. Didn't collect a whole lot of premium, but again, this is an ETF that I want to be net long anyways. So while I'm waiting for a pullback, why not get paid the premium? So I sold at 74 and a half to collect 32 cents of premium. Not a whole lot, but you know, for every um, 10 you sell, that brings in what? $320, right? And $32 per one put, right? 32 times 10 is 320, right? So again, that's what I did there. 32 cents to get put at 74 and a half. Again, I've got three more days of time risk, if you want to call it that, right? Wednesday, Thursday, and then it expires on Friday. But I collect this money regardless, right? If I put this ETF at 74 and a half, my actual price is what? 74 and a half, right? Minus 32 cents, right? So the price would be 74.18, right? And this is the first level. Now, if the market continues to drop, I'd be buying it again. Again, this is trending higher. I want to be long this stock again, okay? The CTF. Uh, let's talk just real quick about the E-mini S&P 500. Yesterday, we we traded lower. This is where I'm looking to actually uh, create just a small little position here and I'll be taking a position in the SSO so let's look at the SSO as you know the SSO is the S&P 500 times the index uh, times two right 
So this level right here is where I'm, I'm expecting to bounce at two places, two short-term intermediate bounces at this high when the market comes back down to this high, right, which represents this white horizontal line. And then this low right here, which represents this lower white horizontal line right there. These are two places where I'm expecting to for the market to bounce. The market, if it starts, so let's get these exact numbers. The first level in the SSO would be $80.96. 80, uh, I'm wrong. That is $84.85. And then this low, $84.85. And then $83.64 would be the second level. I'll not only look to actually get long a little bit there, but I'll actually be looking to sell puts at even a lower price, probably down at 81 to 80 to collect premium as it's dropping. So that's what I'm looking to do. If you've got any questions, let me know. Have a profitable day, and I'll be back with you tomorrow. Bye for now.